uh, hello everyone my name is amit and i welcome you to our youtube channel aptitude360.online in this video we are going to do the basics of vedic mathematics uh, i will be making two videos or maybe third video uh, in this vedic mathematics series uh, again you can learn vedic mathematics easily but the problem is you don't apply them when you are solving your real time problems so the only request is when you solve your questions apply the concepts of vedic mathematics only then you will excel in it only then you will be marveling in it uh, having said that before i uh, continue with the class i would also like to request you please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon now let me go ahead with this uh, let us first solve squares of any numbers that ends with 5 uh, you know 5 square is 5 square is, uh, I need to change the color of the pen. What is going to be square of 5? So, 5 square is 25, right? What is uh, 15 square? 15 square is 225. That is what you know. What is going to be 25 square? That is 625. If you need to find out, uh, 35 square that is going to be 1 2 2 5 if you need to find out 45 square uh, that's gonna be 2 0 2 5 if you need to find out 55 square what is what is this 3 0 2 5 but how is that I am finding out these values and if you see uh, these squares there is a pattern attached to this what is the pattern if last digit of the number is 5 of which you want to find out the square the last two digits will be last two digits of the square will be nothing but 25 you see this over here over here or in all the possible cases last two digit of the square will be 25 how do we find out the rest of the number you see this is called this is called a into a plus 1 method what is a just just discard 5 and this 1 or this 2 or this 3 or this 4 or this 5 in in these cases a will be 1 2 3 4 and 5 now if i do this how i am getting 2 from here see this so my a is 1 and this is 1 plus 1 so that is that is what 1 into 2 this value is 2 this is how this is how, how i am getting 2 now what if i will have to find out say this 2 into 3 2 into 3 what is a is 2 2 is getting multiplied with a value which is one more than uh, 2 which is 3 so 2 into 3 comes out as 2 into 3 which is 6. So is this value 6? Yes. How about 3? When 3 gets multiplied with a value which is more than 1. So this is 3 into 4 which is 12. Do we have 12 out here? Yes. How about 4? Now you understand this. 4 gets multiplied with 1 more which is 5. So 4 into 5. 4 into 5 is 20. How about this value? This is 5, 5 into 6, that is 30. Now, if you understand this thing, would you be able to find out square of 95? Square of 95 is way too simple. What do we have to do? Because this number ends with 5, the last two digits will be nothing but, the last two digits will be nothing but 25. How about the rest of the numbers? In order to find out the rest of the numbers, 9 should be multiplied with a value, with a number, which is 1 more than 9. So, 9 into 10, 9 into 10 comes out as 90. If you need to find out 115 square, again I say this is very simple. What do we have to do? This is 25. Last two digits for sure will be 25. How about the rest of the numbers? A is 11. 11 gets multiplied with 1 more, which is 12. 11 into 12 is 132. So, in this slide, what do we do? 
we are we are learning how to find out square of a number that ends with 5 and i say that there are two steps attached to this one if the number ends with 5 the last two digit digit, digit uh, sorry last two digits of the square will be 25 and how do we find out the rest of the numbers in order to find out the rest of the numbers apply a into a plus 1 formula and you get the rest get, get this done uh, if you have developed this understanding, let us go ahead and let us solve these problems. How to multiply 92 into 98 into in, in 5 seconds. Before we do this, I need to I need you to solve this problem. 42 into 48. And then you solve 43 into 47. And then solve 44 into 46. And then you solve 45 into 45 and see if there is a pattern attached to this pick up your pen solve this and and see if you're getting the answer forty two into uh, forty eight is must be coming out as two zero one six forty three into forty seven is 2021 2, 44 into 46 is 2024 and this is going to be 2025 so did you see a pattern out here what is the pattern point number one try to understand this sum of digits at unit place will always be 10 8 plus 2 is 10 7 into uh, 7 plus 3 is 10 4 plus 6 again 10 5 plus 5 10 number 1 sum of digits at unit place unit places in fact must be 10 and the digit at tens place they need to be the same they cannot be different do you understand this and if it is happening what do you have to do how do you find out the last two digits if you multiply 2 and 8, 16, this is what is the this is what is going to be last two digits. 3 into 7, 21. 4 into 6, 24. 5 into 5, 25. Do we understand this? How am I getting last two digits? That is how, that is how you have 25 in the square of 45. But we can elongate this method and, and we can we can solve other ones. So uh, similarly, can you do this? Say if I have to solve 51 into 59. Can I do with this method? Yes, I can do with this method. Why? Because two things that you have to take care of. 1 plus 9 is 10. Yes, it is. 5 and 5. Digit at tens place here. And digit at tens place here. They, they both need to be the same. So what I am going to do is I will multiply 1 and 9. But 1 and 9 is only 9. But I will have to write last two digits will be will be achieved by multiplication of uh, 1 and 9. So what I am going to do is I will add 0 out here. And 5 gets multiplied with one more which is 5 into 6. This is 3 0. As simple as that. 3 0 0 9. Similarly, if you need to multiply 92 and 98. Can you do this? Yes. Why you can do this? Because 8 plus 2 is 10. And the digits at uh, 10 tens places uh, in both of the numbers is 9. So what do we do out here? This is last two digits will be 16, 2 into 8 and what will be this number 9 into 10 which is 90. Can you apply it over here? Can you say that 93 into 97? Yes, we can do that. What is this? 21 and 90. Can you apply with this 74 into 76? Yes, you can do that. Now you understand why am I applying this method? 4 into 6 will be 24 and 7 into 8 will be, will be 56. That is it. So did we learn this method? And this is nothing but the elongation of the previous, met previous method that we just did. So whenever you get uh, to multiply these numbers, it can be done very easily. Now let us see uh, what is the shortcoming attached to this? What if you have 92 into 93? If sum of digits at tens uh, unit places is 10, that's fantastic. 
but in this case the digit at 10 uh, sorry unit face is 2 and the digit at unit face is 3 so 2 plus 3 is 5 it is not 10 so we cannot apply this method over here so there has to be some other method uh, now see this in Vedic mathematics this method is known to be Navataschcharam Dashataha uh, just to just to make it simplified for you, I will say that this is base 10, base 10 theory. Otherwise, in Vedic mathematics, there is a fantastic shloka attached to this. How do we multiply 92 into 93? Before this, I have got this number. What if I say 12 into 13? So, 12 and 13 are very close to 10. This number is 2 more than 10. And this number is 3 more than 10. Do we understand this? What did I say? I am taking my base as 10. And if I have taken the base as 10, this number is 2 more than my base. And this number is 3 more than my base. And how do I find out the product out here? I will say that. 2 into 3, I will multiply these two values, 2 into 3, this is 6. Do you understand? So, this will give me the last digit. And what do I have to do to find out the rest of the numbers? Please be careful when I am saying this, this has to be cross addition. It is not cross multiplication, it is rather cross addition. So, what is the meaning of cross addition? Uh, this 12 gets added with 3. So, 12 plus 3 is 15. And always be rest, rest assured because in both of the situations you will have the same number. 13 plus 2, 15 or 12 plus 3, 15. So what is this answer? 156. Let me do one more problem so that you understand it. What did I say is if, if I am multiplying 12 and 13, what did I say? I took the base as 10 and then this number is 2 more than the base. This number is 3 more than the base. And what did I do is I multiplied these two axes and I got 6 out here. And the step 2 is I did the cross addition of the of this or this. And I said that in, in both of the situations you will have the same answer. Uh, so 15 is coming out here. So 12 into 13 is 156. Is it okay? I'll do one more for you so that you understand it. 12 into 18. Can you do with the previous method? Uh, with the previous method, 2 plus 8 is 10 and the digit at uh, 10 spaces are same. So, it has to be what? what? 2 into 8 is 16 and 1 into 2 is 2. So, this, this product is 216. But how do we do with, the, with this method? So, over here, I will say that 12 is 2 more than 10. 18 is 8 more than 10. Does this make sense? And then what do you do? What you have to do is you have to do this. 8 into 2. You have to multiply these two extra values. 2 into 8 is 16. But you should not be writing 16 because the base is only 10. So I will write a digit at unit base which is 6 and 1 will go ahead as a carry forward. Right? And what I have to do? Now I have to do the cross addition. What is the cross addition? 12 plus 8 which is 20 or 18 plus 2 which is 20. So either this or this the answer will be 20 plus this one carry forward and if you add 20 plus 1 what is the answer 216. Do you understand this? I hope you are there with me. I might do one more problem for you. Let us solve 13 into 16 just to make you understand. 13 into 16 is now this is 3 more than 10 and this value is 6 more than 10 right. So 3 and 6 if you multiply 3 and 6 what is that you are going to have 18. So you will write 8 1 will go ahead as you carry forward and you do the cross addition. If you do the cross addition 16 plus 3 is 19 or 13 plus 6 is 19. So 19 plus this carry forward 1 what is the answer 208. Are you getting this? But I will have to solve 92 into 93. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I am not taking base as 10 in order to solve this problem. Understand this. The base can either be 10 
or which is power 1 or the base can be 10 square or the ba base can be 10 to power 3 or the base can be 10 to power 4. So we have to see in terms of sorry we have to find it out in terms of these numbers only. Now <clears throat> if I will have to multiply 92 into 98 can you do with the previous method what was the previous method 2 into 8 how do we write the answer 2 into 8 which is 16 and 9 into 10 is 90 so 9016 will be the answer of 92 into 98 but let us try to solve this problem with with the method that we are doing as of now so this so this 92 is 8 less than 100 what is my base because these two numbers should either be close to 10 or should be close to 100 or should be close to 1000 so these two numbers are, are are not close to 10 so i am taking 100 as a base and be mindful that 100 is 10 to power 2 why am i telling this to you we will understand in one minute so 92 is 8 less than 100 and this number 98 is 2 less than 100 what what did we learn what was the next step ne next step the next step is to multiply these two excesses and if you do that minus 8 and minus 2 uh, that that will give you 16 is that okay and if you if you if you have got this the the next step the final step is is to do this cross addition out here this so 92 minus 2 is 90 or 98 minus 8 is 90 so in both of the situations what will be the answer 9016 are you getting what i am saying We can we can simplify this once again. How can I simplify this? Listen. I'll do I'll do ninety two into ninety three so that you understand this. What is the base that I am taking? Ten to power two. So this number is two less. Sorry, this number is 8 less than this number is I am sorry, let me repeat it 92 into 93 and this number is 8 less than 100 and this number is 7 less than 100. Is that okay? So, what is going to be the next step? Minus 8 into minus this 56 positive. And then you do the cross addition either 92 minus 7 or 93 minus 8 in both of the situations what will be the answer 85 so 8556 is going to be an answer i hope you're understanding this let us do one more problem out here one more problem is i am going to multiply uh, i will say 92 into 89 can we do that yes we can do that uh, this number is 8 less than 100 this number is 11 less than 100 <coughs> sorry <coughs> 11 less than 100 so minus 8 and minus 11 uh, this will be positive 88 and if you if we do this cross uh, addition so 92 minus 11 is nothing but what is the value 81 or if you do 89 minus 8 is 81 so 8188 is going to be answer of this problem I hope you're understanding this. So there, there, there are two steps only. What is step number one? Either your number is going to be close, uh, your your numbers that you're multiplying will be closer to ten or hundred or thousand. Uh, the second step that I talked about is uh, you need to find out whether the numbers are less than the base or more than the base. Say for example, if I if I ask you to solve this, if I ask you to solve one zero two into one zero three. Can we solve it? Yes, we can solve it. What is the base that we should take? We should take 100 as the base. So this number is 2 more and this number is 3 more than 100, right? And then what is that we are learning? We need to multiply 2 into 3 is only 6. But should we be satisfied only with 6? Because uh, these product of these two values will be will now be giving me last two digits. Why? Because the base is 10 to power 2. Similarly over here. Uh, minus 8 into minus 7 was 56. I wrote entire 56. 
it was minus 8 into minus 11 I wrote entire 88 out here and similarly if it is 2 into 3 and this is 6 I will have to make it a 2 digit number and once it is done and then I will be doing the cross addition which is 102 plus 3 or 103 plus 2 which is 105 so what is this answer 10506 is that okay I'll do one more problem so that you understand and I hope that you're understanding it I'll do this I'll I'll do uh, I'll do 109 into 111 let us try to find it out by using this method this number is 9 more than 100 this number is 11 more than 100 what is 11 into 9 this is 99 why am I writing 99 because we, we need only two digit numbers from the product of the excesses and then I will do the cross addition so 109 plus 11 is 120 or 111 plus 9 is 120 what is this answer 120 99 is the answer so are we understanding navatasharam dashataha it is not that we can apply only with her on the next slide we will see it is not that we can apply uh, only with 10 or 100 we can apply with the 1000 as well so in this question which is 992 and 998 and if I have to multiply this in one line what is that I am going to do uh, I will take my base as 10 is to power 3 do you understand this what is this base 10 is to power 3 1000 is the base and this number is 8 less than the 1000 and this number is 2 less than the 1000 and if you multiply these two values what is that you will get you will get 16 only so 16 is not a three digit number 16 is not a three digit number so what do we have to do we have to add another zero out here now this has turned out to be a three digit number and then you do the cross addition that you have learned 992 minus 2 is 990 this is going to be the product i hope you're understanding this this is such an amazing thing otherwise it takes so much of time to do this and you can do it in uh, maybe two three seconds or three seconds uh, let us do one more problem. So, I am going to do this 989 into 994. Can we multiply this? Yes, we can multiply them. Uh, what I can do? This is minus 11 and this is minus 6. Do you understand this? This number is 11 less than 1000 and this number is 6 less than 1000. And if you multiply both of them, what is that you will get? You will get 66. But you have to add 0 so that it becomes a 3 digit number because the base is 10 to the power 3. Now you do the cross addition 989 minus 6 or 994 minus 11. What will be the answer? 983. Now this is this is 983066 is the answer. But how much time are you taking? You are not taking much time to solve these problems. If I ask you to solve this, would you be able to solve this thing? Say, say if I ask you to solve 9992 and 9991. Are these numbers close to 10,000? If these numbers are closer to 10,000, which is 10 to power 4, what is the base that I should be taking? I should be taking base as I should be taking base as 10 to the power 4 and this number is 8 less than the base and this number is 9 less than the base. Do we understand this? Now what is that I am going to do? 8 into 9 is 8 into 9 is 72. But what is that we need? We need a 4 digit number and it is not a 4 digit number so in order to make it a 4 digit number I am going to add double zero out here and then we will do the cross addition. So in this case, this is 992 minus 9. 992 minus 9 will be how much? So that will be 998 and uh, this is 3. Did we understand? So this is 9983072. This is going to be the product. But how easy it is if you understand Navatashcharam Dashataha. Uh, similarly, uh, we can do one more problem out here. Say what if you have to find out 1001 into 1002 what is the base that i should take 
the base is nothing but 10 is to power 3. So this number is one more than the base and this number is two more than the base. If you multiply what is that you will be having only two but then you will have to find out uh, three digit number so the double zero will be added and you do the cross addition if you do the cross addition this is what one zero zero three that's the answer vedic mathematics is a fantastic tool but you have to understand where to use it and what is the limitation of it now i'm telling you what is the limitation of navatashram dashita the limitation is this number one numbers need to be closer to each other what if numbers are not closer to each other what if we have to do 89 into 73, 89 into 35? So this formula will not be helpful, right? Where the numbers, the, the numbers are very much scattered. And number two, the numbers are closer to uh, some base of 10. Either they should be close to 10 or they should be close to 100 or they should be close to 1000 or 10,000 or so forth and so on. But there is always no guarantee that they will be closer to each other. So if you have got two situations, two uh, scenarios, you can apply this thing and it, it can amaze anybody one if the numbers are closer to each other number two the numbers must be closer to the base of some 10 10 thousand hundred so forth and so on uh, if not then there is another method that we will be talking about let us see what is the next method that we are talking about how to multiply a two digit number in one line any random two digit number so there are there are certain steps attached to it i'll say this see this very carefully and then we will we will utilize it i am taking a uh, one one and one two just just to begin with it's a very simple question to solve what is going to be my step number one my step number one is to multiply multiply the digits at unit places if i multiply the digits at unit places what is that i'm going to get 1 into 2 is 2 is that okay the second step is something that we need to understand what do we have to do we have to multiply this unit place with this tens place and this tens place with this unit place and once you're done you need to add these two values so what do we have to do 1 into 2 so over here, how, how do we do that? 1 into 2 plus 1 into 1. So 1 into 2 is 2. 1 into 1 is 1. And what is this? 3. So this is 1 into 2, 2. 1 into 1, 1. This number addition will be 3. And then the third step is you multiply the digits at tens places. And... Uh, what do we have at tens places out here? 1 into 1 which is 1. So what is this answer? 132. So there are 3 steps involved to this and you can multiply any random 2 digit number. Step number 1, multiply the digits at unit places. Step number 2, do the cross multiplication and add the values. And what is the third step? Multiply the digits at tens places so that you have the answer. Is this okay? Now. If you understand this thing, I am going to solve some more problem from this method. Okay. See this, I have to multiply say 35 into, I will say 81. Can I do that in one line? Yes, I can do that in one line. What is going to be my first step? My first step is 5 into 5 is 5. What is going to be my second step? 3 into 1, which is 3. 8 into 5 is 40. 8 into 5 is 40 and 3 into 1 is 3. If you add them, this is going to be 43. So this will be this. What is going to be my third is step? 8 into 3, 24. 24 plus 4 is 28. That is going to be your answer. Be careful. What is the step number 1? Step number 1 is uh, 5 into 1. What is step number 2? 3 into 1 plus 8 into 5. What is going to be third step? 3 into 8. This is what you have to see. This is what you have to learn. And you can do it in one line. So I am I'm going to solve one more problem so that you actually understand how, how is it being done. I can take any random number. Say I 27 into this. 
how do I simplify this? Can I simplify this in one line? Yes, I can do that. 3 into 7 is 21. So 1 will be here and 2 will go ahead as a carry forward. Now if you multiply these two, 7 into 7 is 49. Four and 2 into 3 is 6. 49 plus 6 is 55. 55 plus 2 is, this is 7. Now that comes out as 57. 2 into 7, the third step, multiply the digits at 10 spaces. 2 into 7 is 14. 14 plus 5 is 19. So what is the answer? 1971. And if you have to solve this in uh, examination scenario, uh, what did I say? Uh, what if you have to write a lot? What if you have to do a lot of calculations in your data interpretation problem? These methods will come in handy, right? Uh, once again, let us check this. Let us check this. 3 into 7 is, 3 into 7 is 21. So 1, 2 will go ahead as a carry forward. Then you will do the cross multiplication, which is 7 into 7, 49. And 2 into 3 is 6. 49 plus 6 is 55. 55 plus 2 is 57. So 7 will be here and 5 will go ahead as you carry forward. And then you will do, you will multiply digits at 10 places, which is 7 into 2, 14. 14 plus 5 is 19. Is that okay? Now, having said that, I'm again going to give you this recap. So where did we begin? We, we begin with uh, uh, finding out squares of uh, any number that ends with 5. Then we devised a method that uh, uh, it has to be the last two digits will be 25 and then the rest of the numbers you can find out by using a into a plus 1. Then we elongated the method and we said that what if sum of digits at 10 places will be 10 and the rest of the numbers are same. Can we apply that method? Yes. And then what if numbers uh, at 10 uh, unit places do not add up to 10. So do we have a method? Yes. So what was that method? Navatashram Dashitaha. Then we say that what if numbers are way too scattered? Can we can we multiply any two digit number when numbers are way too scattered? Yes, we have a method. Now the next question is can we multiply any three digit numbers and when they are way too scattered? Yes, we can do that. Let us find it out. You have got to be you have got to be patient with this. What is that? One. There are five steps attached to this. What are these five steps? I should have made a note of it. But then, but then, since you are very patient with me, and I'm really very thankful. Let us do this. So, how many steps are involved out here? There are a total of a total of five steps are involved. Now I have to multiply say 121 and 111. What if I have to multiply this number? So what do I do? My first step is product of digits at unit places which we did in the previous question. So 1 into 1 is out, out here. 1 into 1 comes out as 1. Now this gets multiplied with this and this gets multiplied with this. This is also you have done. So in this case, 2 into 1 is 2. 1 into 1 is 1. 2 plus 1, this comes out as 3. Is that okay? Now this is the third step, is the new step that you need to learn out here. How does this happen? It, this number gets multiplied with this. And it's very simple. How do you remember this? Uh, in the first step, this number, which was which was here at the unit place, was getting multiplied at this unit place. In the second step, this, this number was getting multiplied with this tens place. And in this step, what is happening? This unit place is getting multiplied with this. And then you do this. This also gets multiplied with this. So that is the third step, the newest step that is what you are learning. In this case, what I have to do? You see this. This one gets multiplied this one. This one is multiplied with, with this one. And then 2 and 1 are getting multiplied. So 1 into 1 is 1. 1 into 1 is 1. And this is 2. So this step is coming out as 4. And then this step, fourth step is way too simple. Now, it is like this. The tens place out here is getting multiplied with a hundred space, a hundred place. And this hundred space is getting multiplied with this tens place. So, one into one and two into one. So, this will be three. Is it okay? And the last step is this. Product of digits at hundred places. So, this is one into one is one. 
13431 that is the answer what did i say uh, once again a very quick recap this unit place gets multiplied with this unit place this unit place gets multiplied with this hundreds place this unit place gets multiplied with this hundreds place uh, uh, tens place and hundreds place and if you see there is there is a pattern attached to this so once it is done then the same process uh, the second step and the fourth step are very similar the first step and the fifth step are very similar so now we will do one more problem so that we actually understand what is happening out here now see this uh, i am choosing the same color again and again now what if i ask you to solve why would you not go yeah what if i have to solve 212 into 3131 i'll say uh, take 317 this is what i have to do in one line i'll i'll write my first step which is 2 into 7 2 into 7 so i'll say 2 into 7 is 14 and 1 will go ahead as a carry forward is that okay what is going to be the second step out here the second step will be 1 into 7 and 1 into 7 plus 1 into 2 1 into 7 and this is going to be 9 please understand this this is 9 plus 1 10 so this will be again one will be the carry forward what is the third step out here this is the this is the new step that you need to learn 7 into 2 7 into 2 plus 3 into 2 3 into 2 plus this one into 1 this one into 1 so what do we have over here this is 14 plus 6 which is 20 plus 1 this is 21 21 plus 1 this is going to be 22 So what is going to be the fourth step? The first step is two into one plus three into one. Two into one into three into one, which is which is two uh, plus three. Two plus three is going to be five plus two seven. No, we don't have any carry forward anymore. And what is the fifth step out here? The fifth step is two into three. Two into three comes out as six. So sixty-seven thousand two zero four is going to be answer of this product. But do we have the clarity about it? Do we understand how are we approaching to this problem? These are the five steps attached to this that you need to remember. What is this one, and then two, and then three, and then and then it goes like a palindrome. Uh, so I hope that you have liked the way I am doing the entire, entire multiplication. Uh, in this video what did we do is we started with all the numbers now we we know as to how to multiply any random two digit numbers and we also know how to multiply any random three digit numbers is that okay now having said that uh, in the next video we will be talking more about doing the squares of the numbers and finding out square roots and cube roots of the numbers so please watch the second video of this series as well and if you have liked it then uh, go in the comment box and tell us your about your feedback uh, last but not not the least i say this again and again and again uh, you need to help us out us help us out uh, because we need your support we need to reach out to as many students as we can uh, we need to help as many students as we can because this is what is mission of our aptitude360.online right uh so please subscribe please tell others about our channel and we the one thing that we will guarantee is we will bring you the best of the lectures we will bring we will bring you uh, the quality content uh, that certainly will help you to excel and crack examinations thank you very very much for watching this video i'm going to see you in the next video bye bye and take care